A wise cowboy once said that rodeo is about more than belt buckles and winning. Rodeo, he said, is about life lessons. That is certainly true on the Little Britches Rodeo Circuit here in Wisconsin. The events are usually held in the western part of the Badger State, but on a recent August weekend, the Little Britches held a rodeo just outside the Dodge County village of Neosho as a fundraiser for the Rock River Ranch Therapeutic Riding Program. Reporter and cowboy dad George Mallet, who was a familiar face on Milwaukee TV before landing in Minnesota, has our Sunday morning story. A sunsplash Saturday at Rock River Ranch in Neosho, Wisconsin. Flags carried by Western riders marked the start of the first Little Britches Rodeo of 2020. The earlier scheduled events all canceled by a prolonged pandemic. Talk to the youthful cowgirls and cowboys here, and they'll acknowledge that life isn't always rodeos, cowboys, and horses, but they'll tell you it should be. What, what do you like the best about doing rodeo? Um, that I get to ride my horse. That's Aislinn Nelson perched happily on her loyal quarter pony, a filly named Jordan. Um, I got second in pools today. Um, yesterday I got like, I knocked a pool. Larissa Nelson says her cowgirl gets a lot out of rodeo. I think just the good work ethic, taking care of her animals, participating in all the events. She has to put the work in if she wants to do well and meeting some great friends and families. Rodeo dad Nate Cumro views Rock River Ranch's Rodeo Weekend the same way. Um, it's horsemanship, uh, companion with the animal, hard work, um, and it pays off when they get to go in that arena. The bond formed between cowgirls, cowboys, and their horses is remarkable for us rodeo parents to see. The kids spend the entire weekend in the saddle, whether competing in the arena or just riding around having long, thoughtful conversations with their friends. For us rodeo parents, it's all about horsemanship. We love to see our kids out there managing their horses. But there's another element to rodeos that perhaps is inevitable, and that's bull riding. Before my eight-year-old cowboy Colton jumped on bull number one, bullfighter Sawyer Goff gave dad some advice. You putting your eight-year-old boy on a bull, the biggest thing you gotta do is you gotta trust your bullfighters. You gotta trust that the bullfighters out there in any situation will make sure your kid gets out of there safe. And you gotta trust your stock contractor. Your stock contractor's not gonna bring anything here that's gonna get your kids hurt. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing is, is when you put your kid on the bull, you can't let it get in their head that they could get hurt. You gotta be calm, cool, and collected for your eight-year-old kid saying, hey, you got this. That's the biggest thing. Not sure how cool and collected this cowboy dad was as he peered through the fencing watching a lot of uncertain movement, aware his son was climbing on an angry steer. But when the shoot opened, the old man continued to shoot video, even if his heart had long since stopped. I slowed this video down, which is how I remember the unending seconds. My cowboy isn't much for interviews, but after eating dirt, he did let his old man snap a picture. He smiled for this one with his cowgirl mama, too. These rodeo weekends are about family and forming memories, which is why Mike Furlong says this is the perfect fundraiser for his Rock River Ranch therapeutic riding program. But this is our fifth year. We figured it out, and uh, this is a great fundraiser for our ranch, and all the money goes to uh, helping people. Uh, we use horses, brains. Uh, to uh, help people uh, with mental issues, the PTSD and disorders, OCD. So uh, the people here are the most amazing people I've ever met in my life, and this is a great place to bring people or kids just to see the other people, and the rodeo is secondary. Uh, so it's a great feeling. Just the camaraderie of all the kids at the rodeo is a huge thing too. Everybody here is wholesome families that want to come out and enjoy the time, so they just, they all get a good bond. Everyone here is a nice, close-knit family. We just keep going, yep, all the time. Rodeo keeps on rolling and they all help each other and they're, it's a good rodeo family.